Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks again for the interest, the support I'm getting from you all. Thanks for the new people connecting to this channel. And without making this a sad moment, um, Street Cab One passed away. I'm very sorry to hear about that. I do, I'm not familiar with his work. Um, he had an amazing community. As I see, they're very um, sad to see that he left. Uh, it was very nice of this man to you know, spend a lot of his time to uh, devote it to truth seeking and uh, much respect to him. And I hope his family and uh, followers and friends get through this. Guys, we're looking at the surface of the moon. And by the way, he's he was just reborn. He's up there and he feels the love that all you guys are sending to him. And uh, he can see you all. He sees his family. He's not leaving right yet. This is what I believe. You know, we don't leave right away. We stick around. And uh, that energy from Earth pulls us here, eh? That's what happens. Um, we're many, many forms and shapes. Our physical form dies, but um, our mind continues on. I believe that. The lunar surface, la surface de la lune. This is the August moon. And as the moon uh, progresses through the phase, of course, a full moon is always so hard to see. I wasn't able to get any yesterday, unfortunately, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um, it's always a chance, always a possibility that I can or I cannot, right? But it doesn't matter. We got so much footage for uh, the month of August, all the months, May, June, July, and August. Um, when I go back to work, I will still be able to maintain this as I always do because some newcomers just arriving are going to say, oh, okay, he was on vacation, so now we're not going to see any videos anymore. No. Um, it will happen eventually, maybe one day I won't be able to post every day, but the ones here know that, you know, I can take a break or a day. I haven't yet and honestly I have no intentions to because this is very therapeutic for me. What I found up on the surface of the moon, uh, activity, everything that I'm trying to show everyone, it's a pleasure for me to have found that because it was a piece of my um, search for truth that was missing and maybe also the search for truth, that part that was missing out of your lives, finding out raw truth, you know, through a big telescope that was uh, bought through the community here, or one very big, close family, and I'm serious, and many of us are, I wish you guys were also closer, and, uh, you know, truth-seeking, all the channels should get along. We don't have to connect or brand our names together, but, you know, when we can, give the other one a, a shout out or a hand or I think we really should. But I understand those who are focused on their channels and that don't have time to view other videos, etc. But, you know, when you do see something that's uh, real evidence or raw truth, I just think it should be shared everywhere. As much everyone's channel, Street Cap One's channel, everyone's channel that, that's truth seeking. And, you know, we each have our own opinions and ideals on everything but if you hear screaming kids in the background in the video it's free guys um yeah the power grid on the surface of the moon check it out guys look closely at how six or seven massive objects are in an actual circle 90 degree angles connecting objects either corridors or maybe even a power grid that's the bottom of copernicus south of copernicus crater it's just Ridiculous. It's absolutely constructed objects that are on the surface. There are platform-like objects too that I want to show you. A couple of them as we're panning here um, in the August moon footage from a couple of days ago. You know, it's all there. The proof is all there. We don't even have to get that close in to see them. I'm looking at them. I'm looking at two of them right now. From far, they were maybe look blurry, but look here. This object it almost looks like an arm and a closed hand, right? It's a straight platform like object, I repeat, platform like object. We each are allowed our own thoughts. I've found structures on the moon. Maybe these particular areas are not structures, but I'm telling you, a lot of the areas, I'm not trying to bribe anyone, I want you guys to look for yourselves, are not normal. Look at this. Seriously look at this. Really seriously look at this one. So long me, it's the only base on the surface of the moon that is so bloody visually clear that I guess everyone's overlooking at it. There are structures on top of a flat platform or corridor-like bridge that goes many hundreds of miles. Um, 
or many hundreds of kilometers more or less and it goes to the end where there are lights uh, other objects connecting corridors when you look really close in my past videos that you see descending levels just you know more proof that something really is up there there was a there was so much wind guys on the moon it was absolutely ridiculous so if you get a little bit of a shake i tried to slow it down and clarify it um the much uh, the much yes the much no as much as i could and uh i appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day every day to come here and see the videos i do post moon footage but in general i'm on the surface of the moon and focusing on the findings there are ufos up there uh, I mean, many channels are finding UFOs out and around uh, the moon, uh, you know, but they're not thousands, but there are many channels doing this and all that proof gathered together is just more evidence that there's activity out there. The moon's inhabited so long, me. I'm allowed my opinion and I really do believe the moon. I know the moon is inhabited. Why? We see the movement even though we don't know what or who or is moving up there, we do know it's an intelligent species and we do know that they're still moving and building and constructing objects that are somewhat symmetrical. And at times, it's not only about the symmetry of the buildings, it's the way the placement of these objects and some of these massive objects are very um, connected to one another that you see when you back up and you look at the overall outlining of the whole topography of the moon, it's just this one massive constructed jumble up object, very much colors and surface construction, constructed objects that we just don't know what they are. What do you guys think of positive thinking? I mean, we can all be down at times, right? But I'm dumb enough to believe that if everyone, and I know it's true, you know, focuses on one certain energy, that a positive, a very positive vibe to the world. If everyone did, it would be positive. And the fact that it's not proves that there will always be good and bad, probably in every parts of the universe, you know. But us good people can withhold that goodness if you want. You know, we see something bad or we see someone acting wrong. We each have our own ways of communicating with those people. Some people are violently, aggressively forward. Some people are, you know, shy and timid and, you know, go around in their backs. And <laughs> we're all humans and we, ha we do so many things. We judge people for doing so many things that we think are bad. And in reality, not everyone and not all the time, but most often and very often, sometimes we've done it ourselves, you know. It's facing the facts and the truth that we're more than we're more the same than we think, even though we have different colors and our eyes and our ears and noses look different. You know, who cares? I don't understand it. it you know, some of the racist people I asked them, I go, when you, you know, you're racist, he goes, oh, I'm racist, 100% uh, racist, proud to be it. Wow. Disgusting revolution, uh, uh, disgusting revelation, right? Um, but I asked them. If you have a child and he's ugly or he has a big nose or big ears, are you going to love him? <laughs> you know, these people that are racist, it's, I don't know, you know, I don't know about them. There's, there's a lot to say, just labeling someone as a racist. I think there's a lot of uh, the badness behind all of that racist, you know, you got some people that just, just prefer being with their own kind and you got some people that just want to kill the other kind, you know, it's many types of people to make this world, I guess. But sorry guys, just sharing my thoughts, rambling on here as we're looking at the surface of the moon. It's upside down right now and Tycho Crater is right there in the center and we're looking at the top of these two um, minutes that just went by is the bottom of the moon and we're seeing all the outer edge or the limits of that moon very close and we can see some great details all the time. That line of light always changing, that's what I absolutely love is the fact that we see a very different surface depending on where uh, the moon phase progresses and that line of light is showing us the structures. The elevation that it's showing us is absolutely incredible because when that line of light disappears, I mean that surface, that darn surface just looks so flat. And then we see all the 
angles and elevation once that line of light, um, you know, goes across. And that's what I'm trying to show everyone inside my videos.